so this is iPhone Pro 214 and today we're going to be showing you the difference between a jailbroken uh, iPhone or iPod and a non jailbroken one so first off you can see at the bottom it says subscribe you can change that and customize and the battery I think you can change it in winterboard um, you can design your own as well and the we'll show you all of this in another video and the calendar in the background is pretty cool as well. As for the second gen iPod over here, I just got a picture, so it's nothing special. Slide to unlock, you know, nothing great about that. And yeah, so back to the jailbroken iPhone. Um, uh, you can change all the icons and stuff, like I've changed the SMS one, <coughs> and the YouTube one, and also the weather one, which is just like, well. Uh. And if you look up top, <coughs> instead of it saying, like, AT&T or Vodafone or whatever, O2, it says it's got uh, the iPhone logo, and it says iPhone, which is pretty cool, you can change that. And then, if you look in, if I just click on my weather thing, icon I've changed the background for it so night time it's this one and then if I just click over uh, daytime it's this one which is pretty cool that you can change that also you can get you can change and get backgrounds and stuff which you download off Cydia which you apply to the iPhone or iPod touch through winterboard which is up there I've just changed the logo for it. And you also download Winterboard Offset here. And I'm just going to give you an example of what it can do. I'm just going to click on this one. Just click on it until you get the check mark there, the tick. And then I'm just going to press the home button. And it will um, re. It will uh, in start initializing. And it will like reboot the. Uh, iPhone or iPod Touch, which doesn't take too long, about 20 seconds or something. And if you look there, it's changed all my writing there for slot the instead of subscribe, it says uh, slide to Sauric or whatever. And I just slide that. And if you look now, I've got a background of some plants, which is pretty gay. But anyway, and up top, it's got it's changed the writing, which you probably can't notice. But, yeah. Also, if you look down the um, bottom there, instead of having a uh, four, uh, four icon dock, I've got five, which I've done through um, a thing called Kate, which you can download off installer. And also, I've changed the, um, the thing there. So, the number of mails or SMS I've got. It's not that boring, plain old... Um, plain old red circle it's a nice blue star which is pretty cool hey um so with this ipod second gen non jailbroken you get um nothing practically no background no changed icons which you can on jailbroken which will by the way will keep you upload will keep uploading videos on how to get those batteries, how to get the things, how to jailbreak it and everything. Um, so just keep waiting. Uh, don't mind the city at the bottom, it's fake. Uh, by the way, to everybody out there who still believes there's a second gen jailbreak out there, there is no way of jailbreaking the second gen iPod. Um, you might see people press Cydia, like an icon like that, and it goes into Cydia, but it's just a video. Um, I have another video on how to do that. Don't know why you should though. Um, so yeah, you see nothing there. Only four at the bottom. Nothing special at the top. Only says iPod. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, another thing with the iPhone, which I've got off the uh, Cydia, I've downloaded a thing called Logo Me, which if I go on the web on my computer, I can um. Go on a certain website, I'll have that in the description, that you can um, go on it, you click on the uh, image you want, 
and the go and go on properties and go on URL. Get the thing and then just go on logo me, type in the URL and it will get it will upload that um image and you can have it in your, as your boot logo instead of that plain old Apple or unless you've quick pwned jailbroken your iPhone or iPod touch you get the pineapple but after a while it gets pretty boring and also if you look there I've got a thing called Music, which is like LimeWire I can search <clears throat> if I've got Wi-Fi connection I can search for any song or whatever and it'll come up with it but instead of playing it through the normal iPod it plays it through player which you'll also don't get from a uh, Cydia and uh, that's about it uh, so guys remember to subscribe to our channel uh, we'll keep you posted on our uh, new videos and remember to subscribe to our channel which I've already said but I meant to say Yeah, well, a big shout out to my boy D7. Yeah, I got a big you up, man. Uh, I've showed you my uh, what I've got on my iPhone. I've compared it with iTouch second gen. Not the best. I prefer the uh, first gen myself. But anyway, I've showed you that. I've showed you how, uh, what I've got on it and stuff. Now uh, it's time for you to get off my page. Sure, gone. <laughs>